Hello there guys, this is 5 Madness and today we're going to be talking about the light armored vehicles in the workshop. This is another workshop showcase in my channel guys. Hopefully you guys tuned in and subscribed for this. Uh, I've been doing a little bit of work here and there on how to get all these shots in unturned and uh, I've been doing a little bit of research. Now, without no further ado, these are the light armored vehicles here as you guys can see. These are pretty awesome. They're light armored so they have a little bit of health. They have like 875 I think health. And that shouldn't that that's like uh, I think at least one rocket launcher. I we will test that out in the end of the video. We're gonna test them out how how much of uh, how much can they take. Anyways, guys, without no further ado, let's uh, let me talk about these vehicles. This is the military tan version, which is the normal version. This is the military tan with turret, which is the normal with turret. This is the spec ops, spec ops with turret, and then this is the Russia normal and then this is the forest with turret this is just the regular forest and this the last one should be the russia with turret now this is my favorite one right there but the one we're going to be testing out is this uh right here this uh the, the spec ops with the turret now let me just go skip to go find some targets we're going to go shoot them with that turret that's on top and i will be explaining a little bit more about these vehicles and actually i think they're pretty awesome by the way but anyways let's go find some targets and i'll skip to that part right about now all right guys so i think we found some targets here we found some zombies now the thing that we that this uses it uses military ammo and it has an its own magazine it's called the hmg box it has 50 rounds so you're gonna have to think about all the military uh ammo you're gonna be using for this gun uh, but without no further ado let's start shooting let me just tell you something when you go in third person it doesn't move the turret or have any uh, action with it it just stays there you can look around the vehicle but once you go into first person mode and you're in the second seat you are the gunner I will show you this right now. I am in the second seat, and it only has six seats in all vehicles. So that's why I prefer the military with turret gun. It's pretty awesome. Anyways, let's start shooting these targets. Wow, this is amazing. And it's full auto too. And it, the thing is, it's pretty slow. Not that accurate at longer ranges. Yep, not that accurate at longer ranges. But still pretty awesome it shoots really well let's blow up this now if you want to reload now if you're going to want to reload guys you're going to have to hit t and take out the magazine after that refill it and then just reload like if it's a normal gun it's basically a normal gun but the thing is it's really not that great at longer ranges you're gonna have to get really close Wow, but it's pretty powerful let me just tell you that okay there we go now it shot that one anyways guys this is the light armored vehicle spec ops now it, it doesn't matter because they're all just reskins but the thing is the thing is that these these uh these this is a great idea for uh nelson actually to put in because we have no no military vehicle with a gun on top of it except for the tanks this is actually a pretty great gun. This is actually a pretty great vehicle for it right here. Um, <clears throat> I don't even think the tanks can shoot yet. I haven't even reviewed that. I haven't been playing on turn for a while. Sorry about that, guys. Please forgive me. But anyways, we're going to actually destroy one of these with a... Uh, what's it called? With the, with the rocket launcher or with some C4. I, I think I prefer some uh, rocket launcher and C4. We're going to try that out. Guys, I'm going to get some C4. I'm also going to get some... Um, what's it called? I'm also going to get some rocket launchers and I'll be right back guys. We're going to destroy this right here and we're going to destroy also the other spec ops one. Let's see what actually happens. All right then guys. I have my rocket launcher here. It's placed over there. I think it's going to make a big pretty big explosion. Uh guys, put your bets in for this. Put your comments down below. Put your bets in how many rockets will this take? Now remember this has 100 875 I think health on it. So it's going to be pretty awesome. Uh, let me try to shoot a little bit higher, like right about there. Okay, that's one. Um, let's go in third person. That's two, guys. It took two. All right. Two it takes with a rocket launcher. It gives you about... It still gives you scrap metal, which is pretty awesome, actually. But it only gave me two out of that whole vehicle. Um... 
Let's go test out the other light armored vehicle, but this time with uh, some C4. Let's go test it out with some C4. Uh, I'll be right back. Let me get the car and the C4. So I got the C4. This thing is actually going to be pretty awesome here. Um, I don't know how many C4 it will take, but let's put some in the front. Let's say you're raiding somebody's base. You just hate them so much. Um, you're just going to have to put one there, and then you're like, yeah, let's get the detonator out. Um, am I too far away from the detonator? Do I have to be floating? Oh, wait, no. Didn't equip it. All right. Now, it has, now, now from my understanding, it has to turn blue. And... and, and Sometimes it's pretty hard to get it. Ah, there we go. We have to right click on it. There we go. We right click on it. And then we should be able to just go kaboom, right? It took one. All right. Let, let's, let's put another one on there. Now let's put another one. Let's put one right on the front, like right on the grill. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be awesome. That'd be awesome. Um... <clears throat> right click on it and here we go detonator in three two one these light armored vehicles are actually pretty armored even though they're light armored i'd like to see the armored vehicles let's put let's put two more let's see how that works all right now we're gonna now we're talking Okay, that, that should be that should be the end of the video, guys. This, this has been a fun, fun video here, guys. Let's go back to where all the vehicles are. Um, testing out these vehicles are actually pretty hard, actually. Going around, shooting them, learning about them. It, it, it's, it's pretty awesome, actually. Um, now, I'm going to keep these ones over here. I'm actually going to take care of them, if you guys know what I mean. Um, it, it's been a fun, fun video, guys. Hopefully, you guys liked, subscribed. And if you guys want more of these workshop videos, leave me a comment down below. And if you guys are thinking about something like I saw the last video, you guys gave me dislikes. <laughs> I hate you all. No, I'm just kidding. I love you guys anyways. Um, this is actually a pretty awesome vehicle here, guys. Um, the vehicles that I were created, pretty awesome. Thumbs up to that guy. Anyways, guys, I've been 5 Madness. Hopefully you guys liked the video, subscribed, comment, and uh, maybe share it to your friends. I don't know. Uh, thank you guys for watching anyways. Without no further ado, I'll see you later. Till next time.